What explains India's rich diversity? Each state of India has its unique food, language, dress, art, music and customs. And within a state too, food and language change every few hundred kilometers. So, why do we have this rich diversity? One plausible explanation is India's diverse physical features. This single country has snow-clad mountains, vast inland plains, a hot desert, a peninsula plateau, coastal plains and islands. The soil type, rainfall distribution and terrain in each area influence the variety of crops grown there and the local cuisine. Let us take a journey through each of the physiographic features of India to better understand how physical features create diversity. The Himalayas are young fold mountains that stretch along India's northern borders from Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh. Not many crops are grown in these areas due to extreme cold and rugged terrain. So, Himalayan cuisine features barley, millets, dairy products and meat-based food. At the foothills of the Himalayas are the vast northern plains. They are created from the alluvial deposits of the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. It is a highly fertile zone. Farmers practice intensive subsistence agriculture here, which means that they grow multiple crops over a small area, consume a part of the produce and sell the surplus. Most of our wheat and rice are grown in these fertile plains. To the west of the northern plains lies the Thar Desert. It lies mostly in Gujarat and Rajasthan and extends into some parts of Punjab and Haryana. It is an undulating plain covered with sand dunes for miles. This area has an arid climate and gets low rainfall. You would think nothing can grow here. But no, the people of Rajasthan made hardy by its climate toil on their land to grow millets, pulses and vegetables. You will also find many ingenious ways of rainwater harvesting in this area. Down south, we have the Peninsula Plateau region. You will notice a definite change in soil color because the plateau is made up of old igneous and metamorphic rocks. This soil is suitable for growing cotton. So you will find extensive cotton fields and many textile mills in this region. Western and Eastern Ghats flank the Peninsula Plateau. The Western Ghats have a wide variety of flora and fauna and are among the world's biodiversity hotspots. Between the Ghats and the seas are the coastal plains. Rice is the staple crop in the coastal plains. Fishing is a major activity and employs a large number of people here. The coastal plains are home to some lovely beaches which attract a lot of Indian and foreign tourists. The Chilika Lake in Odisha is the largest brackish water lagoon in the world. The islands of Lakshwadweep are made up of small coral islands. Corals are microscopic organisms that secrete calcium carbonate. These calcium deposits create coral reefs in the ocean. The Andaman and Nicobar island group has bigger islands than Lakshwadweep. The Jarawa people of Andamans are among the very few tribes in the world who have not been integrated into the modern mainstream society which is possible because of their remote location. So, we saw how life in each landform of India is different from the other depending on the relief, climate and location. Therefore, we can say that the physiographic diversity of India contributes to the cultural diversity of its regions.